As if by magic, all the Texas James burgers left the shelves and these Fleming's burgers were put there in their place. So I wonder if this is just a Texas James rebrand. Hey my friends, it's Pepperoni and look at this. Fleming's Quarter Pounder. A beef burger in a sesame seeded bun packed with a slice of melted cheese and a sachet tomato ketchup. Microwave for at least 90 seconds. So here it is my friend, straight out of the microwave. It's got this kind of dark brown, almost looks like a whole meal, but it's not, bun lid with a scattering of sesame seeds. Now this is the only micro burger that I've ever had, which instructs us to put the cheese in the burger prior to microwaving it. So let's open it up and see what it's like inside. Oh, oh hey, look at this. I am loving the way that cheese has melted this kind of cheesy hole that's left in the middle. Curious. Now I've done some research and the Texas James burger made up 42.1%, whereas this Fleming's burger makes up 42.9%. But more than that, the Texas James burger was only 19% beef, whereas this thing is 94% beef. Just put the prongs into it, it feels quite chunky. It stuck itself to this bottom layer, but let's try and shift it. There we go. Okay, so we've got a nice clean white bun underneath this burger. I think we should open this thing up so it's like inside. Well, it certainly does look beefy and firm. No gnarly bits are apparent. And I'm liking the amount of cheese on here with its startling glisten. Now this cow roll will give you 503 calories, 26.7 grams of fat, of which 11.7 grams is saturated fat. It also comes with some branded ketchup, so let's get that on. Just about covers the bun. Nice. The radiant redness of this Heinz ketchup will hopefully add a nice little tangy kick to the experience. And the cheesy slice is shining at me like the sun in the sky. But it's this tripping Pac-Man that's getting me excited. So it's time to put it back together and get involved. Now then, subscriber Loaded Gull gave me a tip to microwave these chilled microwave burgers and he said, put it on top of a cup. So you've got the lip of the cup under the burger and microwave it on that. Apparently it works wonders, but not on frozen ones. I forgot to do it on this one. So I'm just gonna to have to have it like I normally cook it. Right, here we go. Well, that is certainly a lot better than the Texas James burgers. So if they have rebranded this and redone that burger, it's worked. This creamy cheese is incredible. You can actually taste that cheese really nicely. The bread actually smells like it's just been baked. It doesn't cook like it's just been baked though, but it is soft all the same. The burger patty, there's none of that perfume in it. Like in the Texas James burgers, it's gone, yes. You can't taste the ketchup though, because the cheese is so overpowering. Okay, the sauce came through a bit more in that bite because there was more on there. It's good, a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of tang. Let's just try and take this thing apart again, because look, it kind of sticks itself together nicely. I'm just so curious to try this beef patty on its own. No gnarly bits. Could do with a bit more seasoning, but that's about the only thing. It tastes a bit like the kind of burger you'd get served up at um, Butlins. It's quite a firm bit of meat, which is always nice. And it's actually quite hearty as you chow through this. It's filling me up. And although the bread feels soft to the touch, it just get a little bit claggy. Could also do with a bit more salt in it. If these things were Texas James burgers before, then they've seriously upped their game. They're actually worth a go now, but they are quite under seasoned for my liking. But still a good effort, a decent price, 
and a hearty filler. So I'm going to give it 8 out of 10 to this last bite. Mm. So Fleming's Quarter Pounder. Nice effort, chaps, absolutely. Would I prefer to eat one of those over a Russell's or Snacksters? Probably not as it stands, but if I added my own salt, a little bit more sauce, I think it'd be on about the same par. Anyway, thanks for coming. Till next time, get out of here. And we're replaced by these Flemings. <laughs> now this is the only micro burger on the... Uh, Good day, me me now. Ah. The calculations, because they've only given me per 100 grams. Oh, I must have that wrong. If this is bean. Huh. It's quite a firm bit of meat in there, which is nice. Oh, um, and all the bread fit. <laughs> that's rubbish. That's where I took the burger away. Idiot.